Good morning, Twitch, and I have the morning coffee, and I'm screwing everything up. I forgot the title, for Christ's sakes. Oh, my Lord, I'm doing everything. I say, ah, I got everything set, and then I uh, go to tweet it, and I, I see that I don't have the title. Let's change the title before we move anything, any forward. I caught it, so we can change it. Yeah, I'm doing that right now, Chris, okay? It's a given, all right? Jeez Louise. I'm fixing the title. Uh, I was just getting ready to tweet it out and stuff. I got everything set up. I I, I got riveted with uh, some... Uh, I was watching something before coming on. Oh, let's see. What do we want to do? We want to go to uh, the stream manager. But Good morning, folks. Rich Roberts. Yeah, lack of coffee. My first cup of coffee here, Double J's. Good morning, Double J's. Uh, good morning, Tina. Good morning, Chris Technician. And um, uh, you switched off the screen in the back. No, I didn't. Sw I switched it to the Google, the Google Chromecast. Uh, we need our one dollar postcard. Oh, but the other one's the Roku. I like this better because it's got better views and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm always keeping it together, Chris. Okay, you know, don't state the obvious. Uh, good morning, and you should fix the title. Yeah, I'm fixing the title right now, so. You know, just like, uh, you know, uh, let's see. But the thing about fixing it, you got to remember when you, um, oh, what the hell happened there? I need an extra set of arms here. Uh, there we go. Monday morning, and today is the 9th. I hope everybody had a good weekend. Um, again, those watching on the replay, this is Rich Roberts at Fireman Rich here on the Twitch uh doing a uh, on the spot um uh, uh change of the title which you can do that's what's so great about twitch let's see zero nine zero nine two thousand twenty three Monday morning broadcast so that is done and uh Chris laugh a lot come on Rich yeah come on yeah I, I like I said, I'm a knucklehead broadcaster, so uh, as far as that goes, keep it together. Believe me, Chris, I do have it together. You'd be surprised how much I have it together. Um, let's see. Oh, you are forgiven, Rich. Thank you, Double J's. I'm forgiven. You are fully human. Recognizing and fixing it is the key. Yeah, that's it. You know, you're going to make mistakes. What I, I always use that Thomas Edison. Look how many mistakes he made. He said they, they weren't... Um, he, he did, it wasn't mis, it was mistakes. It just a thousand different things didn't work until he found something that did work. So I guess I'm, I had my time. I call this let's call this my Thomas Edison moment, okay? And uh, uh, I picked. Let's see. All I gotta say is the Steelers. Did they win? Oh, we'll we'll get to the football and stuff like that. Um, but uh, we're, we're starting here, and I want to say good morning to everyone. Thank you for, uh, for being here. And uh, I'm, I'm running a little late, but, uh, again, those watching on the replay, especially over on Rumble. Oh, I got some exciting news about Rumble. If you saw me on Twitter, um, let me pop the card here. Let me pop the card. Rumble, that's where it's at. Okay, we'll be talking about that. I gotta keep that card up, um, as far as that goes. But uh, uh, let's see, the Steelers did win, but they needed Dolphins and Jets to lose, and Dolphins won, so they're in it. So that's why the Steelers are out and stuff. I didn't watch much of the second games. I was just um, busy doing something else. We'll, we'll get to. But currently here um, in the southern tier of upstate New York, it is. Um, 24 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 degrees Celsius, and uh, cloudy early. Uh, we did have a sunny day yesterday afternoon. Uh, this weekend I had a good weekend because I was with Tony D. We were doing some broadcasts both Saturday. We did a broadcast yesterday. He had a broadcast yesterday, uh, and we did some. We got on the vocal afterwards with Brian from Texas, and uh, I'm following a lot of people on uh, vocal, so. Uh, as far as that goes, and 
we looked into how to how to follow people not subscribe subscribe is different they show you subscribe first but you got to go below one layer to get to the the follow button so I'm following a lot of people over there that are that show up on the um, um, channel listing uh, but we got cloudy early we had a beautiful day yesterday I could have put the solar panels out yesterday afternoon but becoming mostly sunny this afternoon which is good high around the 40s that's good winds west by northwest 5 to 10 miles per hour that's good and we're still locked into that 7:34 a.m. The sun will be rising, and that's in about uh, let's see six. That'll be an hour and um, 49 minutes. Hour and 49 minutes at 7:34 a.m. The sun will be rising, and the sun will be setting at 4:52 p.m. Eastern time. And around the world for our times and temperatures in Honolulu, Hawaii, currently at 12.44 a.m. is 72 degrees skies with clear skies. Phoenix, Arizona, clear skies at 3.44 a.m., uh, 45 degrees. Uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, we got clear skies at 3.44 a.m., also 28 degrees Fahrenheit. Out there in Deming, New Mexico, 35 degrees. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, 35 degrees uh, out there with the high of 64. And good morning, Tim Fan, 43. Yo, yo. Uh, moving to Chicago, Illinois at 4.45 a.m. Currently it's 27 degrees with party, partially cloudy skies. Uh, New York City, the jungle, we got uh, cloudy skies at 5.45 a.m. 37 degrees Fahrenheit. Across the pond in Cork, Ireland at 10.45 uh, currently a.m. It, uh, sunny skies, 39 degrees Fahrenheit. In Milan, Italy, partly cloudy skies at 11.45 a.m. They're getting ready for lunch over there. 48 degrees Fahrenheit. In Riyadh, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, at 1.45 p.m. in the afternoon. 63 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, cool there. That's, that's a nice temperature. Uh, in New Delhi, India, at 4.15 p.m. in the late afternoon. It's uh, raining over in New Delhi at 61 degrees Fahrenheit. And down in, in south of there, Mumbai, at 4.16 p.m. also, it's uh, cloudy skies, 84 degrees Fahrenheit. In Kuala Lumpur, at 6.46 p.m., sunny skies, 82 degrees. Tokyo, Japan, they're getting into their evening at 7.46 p.m., ending the day, getting towards the end of, the, of today that we're just starting. Uh, Tokyo, it's clear skies, 48 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, let me back up. I always forget about Manila. Manila, the Philippines, <laughs> 6.46 p.m. Uh, cloudy skies, 81 degrees. And <laughs> I saw a little bit of Randy W. Orton's broadcast. He had, he's been doing a lot. He even did a sleep broadcast, which I don't really agree with that, Randy. Don't do the sleep broadcast. He, he's trying to get his um, his time up there and stuff. So, But um, he probably, <laughs> after he... <laughs> But just on one of his broadcasts, I got the notion you can't wait to leave the broad or leave the Philippines there to get back to work. I guess. Um, let's see the headaches of buying a new car. I guess. Let's see in um, Melbourne, Australia, at 9:47 p.m., uh, cloudy skies, 66 degrees Fahrenheit, and in Sydney, Australia, clear skies at 9:47, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. As far as that goes. Good morning, T Tina. Saying good morning to. And uh, Tina says, oh, got it, Chris. Okay, whatever Chris said. What did Chris say? Um, yep, but oh, well, we have that. Yeah, it's always next year. Uh, Tina, or Tim, his sleep broadcast was popping. Yeah, but I, I didn't, I would, I would, I was surprised at that, Tim. I never expected. I see that. I was like, what the, you know, F is this? It, and I'm like, are you serious? I said, I don't want to see your I don't want to see your freaking sorry ass sleeping. It's like, you know, if I ever do a sleep broadcast, please put a bullet in my head. <laughs> Just, that's, um, do you know when Randy is head? No, you're going to have to ask him, Chris. Uh, you know, go ahead and ask him. I don't, I, I, I'm so far behind. I, I, I go in there hit and miss and hit and miss. I wasn't a broadcast before here. I'm going to talk about because it, it mentions a good uh, it's about uh, a good friend of ours that uh, I woke up and I'm like I started this when I was getting my coffee and I'm like my eyes went like from this to that whoa um Latina's saying some laugh um so there's our world times and temperatures let me get to the thought for the day and then um, um our thought for the day 
there's nobody that is tied to this thought for the day, but I like it. Um, it goes as follows. I just posted this on my Twitter feed, at Fireman Rich. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Tim says February 2nd or 6th. Yeah, he's, he's, I, I know he said something. I caught one a while. He's looking at extended it, which doesn't surprise me because he, his daughter got in an accident. She's okay. Um, uh, though I don't, I don't think she's tolerating her father that much, but that's that's family relations and stuff. I've been there, done that. Um, but I think he has to extend it because he wants to get the the, the situation with the vehicle set. And he's been he, he's in the boat um, as far as I guess uh, you know. So the boat thing, that's that's okay. You, you're out in the boat, you know. Uh, let's see. I'd like to see a, a broadcast with that French guy coming back, actually hoisting up the sails instead of puttering around with the motor. But anyway, the thought for the day, um, a quote from somebody goes as follows. Good ideas are not adopted automatically. They must be driven into practice with courageous patience. Courageous patience. Key words there. And I did something that uh, um, I had good ideas and they're not adopted automatically because I didn't have the uh, capability. Uh, I was waiting for the capability. I found out I do have the capability yesterday. And I'll be talking about that. They must be driven into practice with courageous patience. They have to be patient. Let's see. Uh, he put the whip down. Those kids should be... Well, that's that's for him to decide, Tim, okay? Um, it's very easy to talk about other people's kids if they're not being abused or anything like that, I keep my mouth shut. That's his business as far as that goes. I, you know, it's none of my business. He, he's, he's opening up a window, which I guess we could say appreciated, but, uh, you know, it's just some things. Um, I keep it on a, a, an upbeat, positive note. Uh, I'm not, you're not going to come up here broadcasting all the negative shit. Um, that was a window opening and, you know, Randy had no problems with it, but that's Randy. Randy is, that's why we love him. Okay. He is what, who he is as far as that goes. Uh, there's a lot of things I don't agree with him. I know there's a lot of things he doesn't freaking agree with me too. That's, uh, that just makes us coming back to we're human. Um, I just feel once 18, you need to, I would agree with that. But the thing is, it should not be forced. It's up to the parents to have uh, have um, taught that that sense that 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 right there. It's not an automatic, okay? If it's not being taught and emphasized when the, the child is growing up, the child has no sense of value on that. So that's how I look at it. Um, yes, I agree. Better not to comment. Well, yeah, he. he well, it, it's personal stuff to him, Tina, but he opened the window. So if he's making comment on an open open broadcast, it's free game. But myself personally, I wouldn't, uh, you know, I'm not going to, you know, those people shouldn't do that. That's, that's, he got comments, okay? It's up to the broadcast. He, he allowed it, so he, he's, uh, so he didn't teach it. So I, well, I don't know. You, you don't know. You, you don't, you don't know until you're in that person's shoes too, Tim. So. Um, you could say it's not, uh, Randy's fault. It's not kid's fault. It's, they'll work it out. I'm sure they do. They have a good family there. I've seen enough of Randy's broadcasts that, uh, you know, you have those moments in any family where shit's going to hit the fan and stuff like that. Right. And, and I, I respect that, Tim. I respect that opinion and stuff like that. You know, I just, uh, I know you're concerned and stuff like that, um, with Randy, but, uh, <laughs> I don't know, in that broadcast, it's hard to be concerned with the kids. When Just say, um, let me get to it because I'm probably won't, um, let's see, uh, do I want to do, let's see, let, let me just check real quick. I have love, yeah, I love watching the streams also and stuff like that. Let's see, do we have any, uh, let's, national days do we have? Let's go over the national days. Today is uh, the sec, uh, the ninth, uh, it's 9th January 2023. It is the ninth day of the year, and we're into the second week. We got National Apricot Day, that's okay. National Law Enforcement Appreciation Day, I like that one. We should always support our law enforcement. Uh, National Balloon Ascending Day, eh, if you got a balloon. National Static Electricity Day, no, I don't like to be shocked. National Clean Off Your Desk Day. No, my desk, it's going to be cleaned off in a couple months anyway. <laughs> For good. 
as well. I don't really have that much shit anyway. This desk, I could clean this desk, I guess. Let's go with National Apricot Day. National Apricot Day. Uh, I don't really care for apricots, but uh, all over the United States, uh, observe, people are observing National Apricot Day every year on January 9th. Hashtag National Apricot Day. Related to the peach, the apricot um, is quite similar in nature. However, the texture of the golden orange fruit is firmer and the flavor is more tart. Yeah, okay. Than its cousin. I like a, I like the peach better. Um, since we easily preserve the apricots, we enjoy this uh, versatile fruit all year long. Fresh, canned, and dried. Dry, I can eat dried. Uh, you love them, Tina? Yeah. Um, and let's see. Going back. They will sort it out. Yeah, I agree. To, uh, Double J's. They'll sort it out. And... Um, and Tim agrees with that. They'll sort it out. It, it's all good, you know. It's just uh, I was just surprised seeing something. You don't, you know. I was just getting over the fact of seeing um, <laughs> Randy's sleep broadcast, but uh, which is which is funny. But the other thing was a little bit. Uh, and you love them. They need to, to be very ripe, though. Oh, okay, yeah. See, I'm not. I like the dried apricots. I've had dried. I like dry fruit. Dry fruit, I think, is good. Uh, especially in a trail mix, as far as that goes. And um, don't be surprised, Randy is unedited. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if you watch that. I mean, how he had some long-ass broadcasts. Now, the one broadcast I want to talk about, it's over there on YouTube because it popped up when I started turning things on uh, this morning. And... Um, Geez, I'm gonna probably just get to this, and then uh, um, my other thing is our our good friend. Uh, like I said, I was with uh, our good friend Tony D. Okay, and this guy, he is my brother. We're veterans. He is my brother. I will support him. I am in his foxhole, whatever his endeavors. Right or wrong, I am in his foxhole. I am declaring that he is a good guy. Um, it will be my mission sometime to meet him because uh, um, I think he's a... Road trip. What's that? Road trip. Yeah, road trip down to New York City because I know he comes into the New York City there for... Oh, Georgia? Oh, she wanted the wife. The missus wants to go to Georgia. I just want to go down to New York City when he comes up and visits the family. But anyway, um, Tony had a broadcast there on YouTube. And um, he, it's sort of remnants of be, being in Haps. And um, he mentions me, so I appreciate the shout out, Tony. But uh, uh, Tony invited me to do vocal with him yesterday morning, but I was busy. Yeah, we were on vocal yesterday after, um, after his uh, uh, fantasy football broadcast. Uh, speaking of food, we should do the dinner report. Yeah, we'll get to the dinner report in a minute. Um, yeah, he is trying to fulfill the Twitch partner. Yeah, we got to support Tony for uh, his uh, affiliate and um, his partner. Uh, his... Oh, you're talking, Double J's, you're talking about Randy. Okay, he's trying to fulfill his Twitch part. Yeah, but I, I, I think it's just my opinion. Believe me, I love Randy, but I just thought it was a little cheesy. <laughs> okay, it's like I'm not sitting there going to watch his backside there for while he's sleeping and stuff it's like um but tony invited me okay yeah we were on vocal i was on vocal with tony also and yeah we should support yeah we should support tony when he's on twitch i know he's all over the board but this particular broadcast was a little heated and tony was obviously pissed about what i don't know i'm not going to get into it with the whatever because the, he, there was people over there on airtime and he just say hey here it is I'm right here. You know, people are over there on the so-called airtime, and I guess it's a closed system, or they they're on something where they or they, they stay in the comments and they don't come up, as far as that goes. And we talked a little, you know, in a nicer way. We we're talking about how yesterday when I was with Tony in the broadcast, and uh, um, and you don't go to airtime anymore, yeah. Um, I never touched it, so I'm, I'm off of TikTok now. I don't even want to touch TikTok and stuff like that. But I did have a broadcast here, and um, you know the people that we used to come, that used to be very easily come up 
uh, they don't come up as quickly and stuff like that because uh, I don't know they all want to hide uh, rumble is not available here in India yeah, I'm gonna get to oh really it's not available in India double J's okay I'm sorry to hear that um, but uh, I, I listened to about half of it I'll be listening to the rest of it um, you know there's some there's certain things we have to do to those people that I don't know we don't really want to if if somebody is very boisterous and stuff let's say and um, and I'm gonna throw her name out there I'm gonna throw this person's name out that would and you'll get the gist of what I from haps and I have no bones throwing this person's name out there because there's other individuals that are just like this particular person but um, um, this particular person from HAPS um, uh, I remember being on a broadcast with Michael Bathurst and um, um, I almost felt like Michael was being bullied so I, su I supported Michael I do he's a little bit of a quirky guy okay but I support him and uh, this person was Lenny Lenny, who is, uh, uh, who I blocked, who I've, uh, um, I don't really care for, okay, and uh, uh, as far as that goes, and uh, uh, Double J's, you can use a VPN, yeah, and, um, and she was very boisterous, she was very uh, uh, shrill, almost sketchy in some cases and stuff like that she you know maybe she was think she was doing the right thing but she sometimes she just needed to shut the fuck up we still have some individuals like that as far as that goes and uh, in this case um, Tony was addressing that I guess with certain people and that's Tony that's what I like about Tony he tells you right how it is and um, me you know what the rule is in the room you, you, you piss me off that's it you're gone I don't you know I don't have any I don't need uh, the extra the baggage and stuff like that and I think Tony was addressing that and his uh, <laughs> I was surprised though my eyes like I said whoa so uh, um, I used the Linny example because um, I don't think she uh, it, it's just some people just want to suck all the the freaking uh, drama or suck it all out and become the drama uh, yeah block is always yeah it, it, it's it's a good option and you move on okay there's other people that uh, uh, for this particular broadcast and, other, and even over on my Twitter feed I don't want to hear it anymore because it's the same bullshit same complaining same you know but it's 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 their way or you know you don't it, your opinion does not matter and I think that was a case uh, where there's a there's a stark difference that when I watched it, Tony's in this country, other individuals are in their country, and I blocked Lenny. She I don't want to talk about Lenny. I'm just using that as an example, Chris. Okay, so I, I'm just using that as an example. I could care. I wish her the best and stuff like that, but I don't I don't have to deal with that. So I, I have her as an example because I know I was really pissed off. In uh, Michael's uh, broadcast, this is like two years, like two half a year, but that's how raw it got. I mean, I, I actually yelled, and so, so, and I remember afterwards, I'm, I'm talking to Mrs. Why the fuck did I do that? And uh, yeah, double J's, you can't please everybody. But the thing of it is, I'm not going to please people that are constantly uh, coarse, constantly dropping the F bomb, okay? And, you know, those type of people, I don't have time for. I have time for you people because you people, you, you, you make this broadcast. You keep it good. Uh, we have fun. We talk about some serious things, but for overall, we keep it good. This is a safe place. I don't want people uh, degrading other people. You, you may have differences and stuff like that. Um, there's some people that just go overboard with the freaking emotion. It's, I don't need that. Okay, that was one of the, and we all agree with that. That, that. that was one of the things that was pretty indicative. Tony, though, I got to, he's a stand up guy because he faces that crap. And um, I don't have time for it. I'm, I'm too old for that stuff. So uh, I try and keep, yeah, thank you, uh, Double J's. I try and you agree or 
agree to disagree. Yeah, and then just, uh, you know, but the thing is, even when you're agreeing to disagree, I come to the point here, Double J's, you're seeing where the other person's coming from. Hey, good morning, uh, Lady Cat 31 Erica, thank you. So um, let's go ahead and do the dinner report, Chris. We get that going. Anyway, we should do the dinner. Yeah, I just said that, Chris. And it doesn't matter the top of the hour. We're past the top of the hour. I just want to get it in because you're here. So we got to do the dinner report. When you're not here, we don't do the dinner report. So <laughs> so what do you have for dinner? What did I have? For? Oh, I know what I had for dinner. Let's see. What do we have for dinner report, Chris? Again, Lady Cat, I'm not talking about that individual, okay? That's your own business and stuff like that. I'm just, I was just using that example. At when there's a person that gets in that realm, boom, I just cut them out and I just move on, okay? And I don't think about it. See, right now, by make that, don't even worry about it anymore. Don't deal with the person anymore, okay? Because the person's not going to change. When it's obvious the person doesn't change, you move forward. Okay, see you later. Wish you the best. Let's see. Chris Technician's dinner report. He had two ground beef burritos, green chili sauce, fries, Mexican restaurant in Mexico. Okay. And Tina had grilled cheese sandwich with chips because uh, we live 40 miles from the Mexican border. Yeah. Well, yeah. Even if you were in the northern part of the state, you're a lot closer to Mexico than I am in here in New York City. <laughs> Did you see it? Um, yeah, I'm going to have to get to the, the, the football, <laughs> maybe in Wednesday's broadcast. Uh, I, I, I believe they did win, yes. Let's see. Double J's had lamb kebabs, ooh, and hummus. Not really particular. I, I, could, I could eat hummus, but I'm not a particular fan of it. But lamb, lamb kebabs, that sounds good. Ooh, put that. That's like a speedy sandwich. Um, let's see. Eric, do you want to get on a dinner report? We had the Mrs. Made Ups. Uh, um, um, what was that? We, what was that that we had? Like a peanut sauce. Oh, peanut sauce. Uh, stir, fry. stir fry. We had, pe yeah, the peanut. Uh, the Mrs. Made up her own peanut sauce on the stir fry. And um, Tina, where's my grilled cheese? There, yeah, I love grilled cheese and chips. Ooh, that's good. Grilled cheese always sounds good with the. Um, oh, you did yours? Let me back up. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. You had the top-notch burger and a, uh, a teaser. Teaser salad? What's a teaser salad? It teases you? <laughs> uh, okay. So everybody got their dinner report in. Um, let me close, uh, like I said, I'm on Rumble. I've stated that I'm on Rumble. Um, I did something yesterday. I was fiddling around, trying to watch the afternoon games. I guess Green Bay lost too, didn't they? They lost. Uh, I thought they were going to win that game, but they ended up losing. All I was worried, all I was concerned about, is the Bills won. Um, and let's get ready to Rumble. Well, let me show you something. Um, I did my first live broadcast on Rumble last night. And uh, there's, there is the, uh, uh, that's the link. I know you can't see it, Double J's. Uh, I, I got to see how the workflow, if I can take that and throw it over on my YouTube, uh, because I know you have access to the YouTube. But I got fiddling around with the, uh, the channel there. I was looking at it in between commercials on the football game, but then I turned the football game off. It was an afternoon game. I think it was Green Bay Packers. They were winning anyway at that point, so... Um, and I started looking at the uh, web page and, and I'm hitting the live stream up in the upper right hand corner and um, lo and behold I said wait a minute this looks different it's allowing me to uh, Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers should retire now Tom Brady's staying around uh, Aaron Rodgers I don't know he, they might be around next year but uh, it, it allowed me to do a broadcast um, the first couple tries I have to use the RTMP aspect of it, but I tried doing it from vocal. Vocal, for some reason, didn't work. And then um, I ended up using um, um, Streamlabs. I don't use, uh, yeah, Streamlabs OBS. I haven't used that in years, so I had that set up because I don't want to 
mess around with this OBS. This is for Twitch. Um, if I, you know, I, if I have another avenue, but I tried using the RTMP for um, um, the new new thing that I'm using, uh, the EV Mux, Restream and Streamyards. You have to be in the, you have to be paying for that that service. So um, uh, Streamlabs is more CPU. Well, it it did yesterday. Okay, I used it. I had no problem. I had a a great picture over there. You can check out the picture over there on Rumble. My Rumble account um, over there. I put the link. You'll you'll see that the the picture was great. I think it was 1080p also. But I ended up using. Uh, so uh, yeah, you just saying. But I, I you having a problem? I I don't have a problem with Streamlabs OBS. It just get. I, I'm so used to regular OBS. When you use something else, that you got to change your workflow. And so it's simple. That's what I like. I like simple. You plug in the things, boom, press a button, and you're broadcasting. I'd like to see if I can get it working using the RTMP over on uh, Vocal because then Vocal you can bring a second person, third person, fourth person in, like we did on Haps and stuff, and then I can broadcast it on. But I'm on I'm on Rumble, so let's see. I'm on um, Twitch, Twitter Live, YouTube, um, and Rumble. So I'm on four places. Rumble is, uh, I know it's not for everybody because of the, the but, but it, there's a lot. I think Rumble changed the aspect that, um, I think I had like 40, I don't know, it's 34 followers. So I don't know. They flipped the switch. They must say they saw me. You know what? Let's let that knucklehead broadcaster in upstate New York uh, 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 broadcast on, uh, on vocal. So uh, I want, I'm, a, I'm very appreciative of that as far as that goes because it's one of the things I was talking about with Tony yesterday that uh, this stuff right here, I can remember when we didn't have it. So every time I'm on this, in the back of my head, I'm thinking I am very grateful and thankful that we have this stuff to be able to communicate, to be able to say good morning to you all uh, each morning as far as that goes. And uh, um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cue the outro music and um, get my day started here because uh, we're, we're, we're a tad over. But uh, I just want to say that, uh, yep, amen to that. Thank you, Double J's. And uh, ciao to you, Tina. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Chris Technician. Thank you, uh, Lady Cat 31 You all have a great day. Take care. Have a good week. Yes, we'll be back Wednesday. I'm going to be doing the Anchor Morning Audio. I'll probably be doing some uh, afternoon rumbles. I'm going to be playing around with that or trying to as far as that goes. And uh, have a great Monday. Yes, I will, Chris Technician. And as always, Bazenga. He comes in with a Bazenga. And you all have a great day as well, folks. Okay, so again, watching this on the replay, thank you very much. Right here, guys. People in the chat and the people watching the uh, watching. Uh, on the replay. It comes from the heart. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. All right, this is Rich Roberts at Fireman Rich here on the Twitch as well as over there on Twitter where I told myself as a social media observer, social media enthusiast, all I'm saying in other words is I like playing. This is just a knucklehead playing on the internet and uh, thank you for your views. You all have a great one wherever you may be on this big blue marble. Live life, have fun, ciao for now. As always, peace. Take care, guys.